division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in at 155.8 pounds. Fighting out of Team Torres, presenting Deck Mercury! I listen to the roar of the crowd. You can hear behind me, there are a lot of fans here for Decky McAleenan, and he is from Sebastian Torres Gym. And you can see there Damien Rooney as well, Damien the Rage Rooney, and that's one of Ireland's and the UK's best fighters in his corner. Fighting out of Newry, excited to be here. He's just back, in fact, from a fight camp where he was in the States with Team Alpha Male. Yes, indeed. One of the very best camps in MMA in the United States. He will be making his pro debut later this year. Now, he was scheduled to face a different opponent, but his opponent got injured. And as luck would have it, his opponent tonight also was scheduled to face another opponent who had to withdraw. So, Deck McAleenan is taking on Stephen Moore. He's just getting prepared here at the prep point. Clan Wars, of course, is fully supported and approved by the council and sanctioned by the ISKA and by the IMMAF. What a brilliant show it's been so far. That is a part of making his way to the up again, fighting out the blue corner. His man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in at 155.8 pounds. Fighting out of DFC, presenting Steven Moore. And his opponent then is Stephen Moore, as I just mentioned. He was scheduled to fight a different opponent. In fact, he was scheduled to fight the up-and-comer James Gallagher. He trains with Stevie Taz McComb, who I've seen many, many times and is a great fighter. He'll be in the corner of Stephen Moore as he takes on Decky McAleen and Noel. Yeah, this, this fight was, wasn't scheduled to happen. This Originally, uh, Deck McAleenan was, was due to fight Reese McKee, defend his belt against Reese McKee. Then we had Stephen Moore was due to fight what was being touted as the next notorious yeah, Conor McGregor out of SPG. You got it. James Gallagher. James, unfortunately, got injured. But injury has cursed us and blessed us at the same time. Because, Stuart, I'm excited about this fight. I know you are. You said at the top of the night. And I am too. Both these men are real prospects. When I look, Two of the best in Ireland. When I look down at my notebook, I have the word fireworks in highlighter. Oh, excellent. You've brought some uh, Catherine wheels and sparklers. Certainly, I love a sparkler. <laughs> yeah, you've got you've got uh, McLean and coming from a karate background here. This 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 guy is all is well-rounded fighter. This this is this it will be fight of the year. Never mind fight of the night. This yeah. is great potential. Decky McAleen in, in the blue shorts. It's the black shorts for Stephen Moore. Johnny Shields is in charge as the cage door shuts. And here we go. They touch and they assume the stance. Lighten the feet movement from Stephen Moore. Now he comes forward. Hands are very low. That's karate style maybe. McAleen looks supremely confident here. That's a nice left as... Well, that was Moore a good was left kick. In. It was more off balance there, really, that McAleenan knocked Moore to the ground. Moore's kind of going back, coming forward, trying to land those big kicks. Goes with the spin. It's the spinning kick. McAleenan's seen that coming. McAleenan are very relaxed here, hands low, just... Oh, he's trying right to catch him up on the way in. And again, a slip by Moore. What can McAleenan do now? He's sitting in half guard at the moment. Well, we know how good McAleenan's submissions are likely to be. Moore trying to work his way, but McAleenan moves into side control. McAleenan just he looks very calm, very relaxed. Yeah, that, that, I have to say, I noticed that when he came into the octagon. He just looked like he was going for a stroll. He didn't look like he was getting into an octagon to have a fight. Entirely. Comfortable. I mean, sometimes you know, it doesn't always work to the advantage of a fighter. But yeah. he's actually only come back from the uh, from the USA. He was out training with Team Alpha Male, so he's out there, stable of beast out there. You know, so now that's well, Ryan Faber and the lads, TJ Dillashaw, etc. Magalina. Now he just 
Just Good work from Moore on the bottom there, trying to land some shots, but McLean is just holding them where he wants them. And Hasn't really landed anything. Uh, referee Johnny Shields just telling them to keep working. Moore working to get that leg in to defend. Moore doing well here to make it a little bit of a stalemate. And there you go, Johnny Shields says, right, gentlemen, let's have you on your feet. Big overhand right by Moore, just missed. Yeah, just missed. Didn't really catch much of McAleenan. McAleenan with this, just discontent, drops his hands and looks at him as in to say, and what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Again. Very non plus, very relaxed. This is kind of strange. This can get into the mind, almost like Nick Diaz style, where you just. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm not just... Right in front of our commentary build here, Stuart. Yeah, Stephen Murr just trying to oh, roll there and for grab a for a leg. Didn't quite work the first time. There's grabbing in the fence. Johnny Shields saw it, referee, but again, just a warning. McAleenan just seems Neither could be. It. No, slipped out of it. McAleenan got away, oh, but McAleenan grabbed the fence there. Yeah, yeah. Got to be careful. Our referee Johnny Shields spotted that and warned him. Now he's a 10 second clapper. Stephen Murr dips his head. McAleenan tries a speculative kick. Moore some punches in the inside and I think that was more of a feeling out around there Stuart. both fighters sort of especially more so uh, Magdalene and he, he seemed to be sitting back a bit more and trying to size up his opponent yeah I mean that it was weird because it did look that Magdalene was so relaxed and he thought well he's got him on the ground he's got the side control yes. maybe that's where he wants him now let's him work his magic as you've said you alluded to it earlier in the fight is sometimes you can be too relaxed and it can go against you well, we're talking about three three-minute rounds. Yeah, it is you know, a short space. It's not a lot of time to be to be mucking about, and not saying he's mucking about, but yeah. Stephen Murray's guy who's landed the shots, and while he was on the bottom, he neutralised it, got yep. back up, ruled for a leg, which didn't work. Yeah. But he's no. trying things. Yeah, no, he is, and he, he seems to be throwing the more power shots. It seems like Magdalene has just started flicking the shots up again. Uh, but, you know, he does look relaxed, and, you know, maybe this is part of his plan, take him into the later rounds, you know? Yeah, Damien Rooney seemed to be sort of trying to say, look, come on, let, I want to see some punches going in a row. Let's see let's see them put together, combinations. And they touch gloves again. And you see, you got to be careful here as well if, if you're, you're uh, Magdalena, because Stevens is coming off, Stephen Moore's coming off a big knockout in his last bout, so he does, he does possess power, you know, one-punch power. Oh, good that's shot a good by kick. McElhinney there. Sort of Stephen missed with them, but that combination he didn't miss. Yeah, but Stephen Murr is just not letting go. He's looking for a single. Good defence though. McElhinney and a beautiful hit toss. Oh, that was a nice judo move, which I'm not going to get the name of correct, so I won't try. Now what can McElhinney do on the bottom this time? Well, it's, this is a position he was in round one, he, but he wasn't able and to again, progress. Good, it. good work by Moore again. He's getting the he's, he's getting the knee in and on the belly there, trying to get back to at least half guard. But McAleen notices that and adjusts. Yeah, McAleen is still side control, but uh, trying to move him away. Moore looks there, looks like he wants to try to push off the cage, but McAleen trying to move that. Moore, pure strength, turn. just reversed. Stephen Moore, I tell you what, he's been the one. Showing a lot more so far. Roared on by his fans, very near us. And they're right in front of us as we speak. Stephen Moore just by pressing down with his shoulder charge there. But still landing some shots, some yeah, hammer working. control on the side of the head. There's four shots there. The side of Decky McAleenan's head, plus some body shots also, all scoring. Moore is doing more of the work here. He's out working McAleenan at this stage of the fight. And they're literally within touching distance of us now. Stephen Moore just looking up, checking where he is. Landing good shots here. He's, he's, he's happy. He seems happy enough to sit in guard and, and strike, but he's got to be careful there now. McLean has got a, a, the foot on the hip and he's, he's just got to pull back into full guard. He's locked up the guard. He's opened up again and the guard is open there for more to try and move. McLean is looking to set up an arm bar, but looks if like he's trying to turn the hips and 
shot the arm, tried to pull in a pull an arm bar out here, but more noticed it and the Moore is though the powerful one. He's in that top position. He's he's really negated the, the chances for McAleen to put his legs up. He's kept a very heavy position, hasn't postured up too high and given himself a chance to get caught. McAleen looking for the sweep here. But Moore recognizes again, adjusts. And there's 10 seconds to go then in round number two. Sure, you've got to give this round to Stephen. No, oh, no question about that. So the no, first round no all question. of a, so the first round all of a sudden could come back to Han McAleenan. He's very laid back in the in the first round, so the first round could cost him here. So I mean, it but, could be two rounds. Yeah, it could be all. Yeah, it could be, but it could be all to play for here. And some of the judging, we, we've called a few of them wrong so far tonight. Oh, I don't know about that. You might have. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, it was them biased eyes. Yeah, so we got one more round. You can see Seb Torres there and Damien the Rage Rooney working for the, the Demon Macalina. I suppose that's quite a good name for Decky Macalina. And Stephen Moore, though, getting a good talking to by Stevie McComb. No one really has more experience in an MMA yeah. cage yeah. Uh, at the pro level in Ireland than Stevie McComb. Something like over 40 fights. Yeah, he's a, he's a veteran of the game, a legend in Irish MMA. Had a bad arm break, actually, in his last fight, and uh, I know he had to have some surgery and some rods put into it, but he looks like he's, he's well on the mend now. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see him back in there soon. Here we go, we're third round. This could be all to play for in this one, short. Third and final round. And they're going to touch hands again. Here we go. Three minutes to go. Black shorts for Moore. Blue shorts for McAleenan. McAleenan starts a little bit more energetically, but it's uh, one kick off. More answers. He... And again, McAleenan is just sitting back. I feel he needs to put his foot in the gas here and step forward. There's no doubt he's got the talent and the ability, so he just needs to step forward here. Yeah, Stephen Moore just... Stephen Moore is Showing looking. a range of uh, kicks. That was of the capoeira style, I suppose you could say. You have been watching the McGregor documentary, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> well, I think everyone has. And now what's Magdalena going to do from top now? He needs to work here. Yeah, we've seen this position of Magdalena on top in both rounds, but has been unable to do anything with it. In fact, got swept the last time. Again, the last time, Stephen just power through. Hard, yeah, the last I suppose, time. It was yeah. Pure strength. Now, Magdalena has moved into side control here, so let's see, can he advance again? Looks like he's burying the head here, looking for. Maybe he's looking to get that arm. Stephen Moore again. Look at that. That's beautiful by Stephen Moore. Back into. Almost full guard and kicks him away. Beautiful. Stand up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's him stand up. McAleenan trying to come forward with you kicks. You can see McAleenan, there's a little bit of urgency in his movement there now. You can see it. He might know he's behind on the scorecards. This is any man's fight right oh, now. Oh, Slippy got it low there, I think. Low shot, and a referee Johnny Shields steps in. Time. <laughs> well, it was hard to see there, but he slipped. But he, did he catch a low blow then as he slipped? It, it seemed to be. Uh, I don't think a man rolls around like that if he didn't catch one. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think he did just catch him. A referee, Johnny Shields, did see it, so... So Johnny Shields will have stopped the timekeeper. He's just letting Declan know there that, yeah, we know it's an accident, so... Well, it was the way it happened as well. There was definitely a slip element to, to the movement there of Stephen Moore also. But McAleena needs to take this moment to take some breaths and get ready and go with a barrage. <laughs> posing to the, a, his fans are all having their t-shirts in behind him but uh, the Stephen Moore fans are a little closer they're a little louder into our microphones <laughs> Stephen Moore just down the L check the one two yep Here they go, ready to finish off this fight now. Not much more than a minute left. And here we go, the Demon needs to step it on here for me. I think both, both want to do that. He's looking high, he went high, but yeah, Morrison Moore dipped under. under. Tried for the... 
the drag but couldn't get it and uh, McLean has fallen into top position once again but half guard he needs to work and he needs to work fast turns against him in my opinion here Moore being busy on the bottom but McLean can do it he has, the, he has the tools in his arsenal so but time is against him I'm afraid yeah time is against both men really Again, but I think it is, this fight could come down to the first round. What way did the judges see the first round? Well, if that is if you're giving McAleen in this round, you know, it's... Uh, there's he not been, been much in it, but mm -hmm. he's been on top, I suppose. He's been on top twice, so... Twice in three minutes is pretty, pretty dominant in a round. He's in side control now, so he's getting to side control. He just needs to do something when here. Change his hips. Maybe go for a submission. There can't be long left. I mean, he's not going to lose the fight by going for a submission. There's your 10-second clapper. There's your answer. You're not going to get it now. He just... Show the judges you're trying something. I can't... Murr been busy, but he is on the bottom. And that's the end and of the fight. It. Well, there we go. It's in the hands of the judges. And who will win and who will progress in their career? Well, I think both men have got careers ahead of them. Hard to know who's going to get the nod here, but we'll have to wait and both see. Both men, I think, are looking to turn pro as well later in the year, so this, this is a good time for both of them to meet in their amateur career as well, so... We'll see what lies ahead for both fighters. Yep, we're going to have a look now and see what the judges have decided, and then, of course, Noel will be in the cage giving his decision in just a moment's time. Three rounds of action week going to our judges' scorecards. Judge number one has scored this bout 29 28 more. Judge number two has scored this bout 29 28 Macalina. Our third judge has scored this third point. For your winner, we have split this to Dick Macalina!